Hi, I'm Kenyatta. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. A life celebration. This will be a love reading for Gemini for October 2022. Before we get into your reading, Gemini, um, I entered a competition called Over 40 and Fabulous, and I'm asking for your votes. I will put the link in the description box below if you choose to vote for me, and I certainly hope that you do. When you hit the link, it will take you directly to my profile, and there are two ways to vote. One is through payment. I am not asking anyone to make any payments for any votes. Under that button, there's a gray button and it says uh, to vote for free. If you hit that button, it will take you to Facebook. If you have a Facebook account, log into that account and your vote will be tallied there. Um, they're doing this just to make sure that it's an actual person who's voting and not, um, you know, any bots or anything like that. All right. Thank you. I certainly hope that you all support me in my endeavor. Anyway, we're going to get into this reading for Gemini. I love reading for Gemini. I did that about five times, y'all. I don't know why I kept messing up, but I kept having to hit that stop button and delete. <laughs> all right. So that's why I'm just kind of like, oh, I made it through it. Okay. But nevertheless, Gemini, this is going to be a love reading for you. I'm going to start your reading off with the Romance Angel Oracle deck. All right. I'm going to pull three cards from there for you gemini all right gemini love october 2022 gemini love october 2022 gemini love that one that fell out i need two more please for gemini love october 2022 now if they don't pop out then i'm just gonna have to pull them here all right gemini love up there we go one Flip. Okay, I need one more for Gemini. Love, October 2022. Gemini, love, October. There we go. Gemini, love. All right. Healing family issues. Free yourself, Gemini. And finances and career. All right, let's see what's happening. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents maybe there's some gemini out there you got to forgive your parents you know maybe they did the best they could i know sometimes parents can do things all right um i know firsthand parents can do things that uh you know very hard to forgive them <laughs> okay or you don't want to forgive them but one thing that we have to understand is that our parents are human beings okay many of us are parents ourselves all right now i'm not telling you you have to forgive anybody that is a choice that you have to make for yourselves okay but understand sometimes we have to be in a space of understanding that they were just people who were enabled to make children all right and i don't want to necessarily say maybe they weren't ready to sometimes they're not sometimes that is the case but sometimes there's a lot more issues going on than we could ever know okay or truly understand okay but it is up to you but as well i see here free yourself it's time to take back control of your life maybe the healing of the family issues okay and forgiving your parents will bring you some freedom maybe that will free yourself okay, and help you to take back control of your life gemini finances and career financial Fat issues are a factor in your love life right now. These All three of these things could be tied in together. It is very possible, and I'm not saying that it's always that way, but it is very possible if you are having some financial issues right now, it may have to do with the healing of the family issues, okay, that may need to take place in your life or probably needs to take place in your life, okay? Sometimes I think like when we get into a space of forgiveness and truly understanding what it is, and I feel like it can take a long time to have a true understanding of what true forgiveness is. It's not always a matter of you having to, you know, and, and as I see it and as I believe, it's not always a matter of you having to go to that person or confront that person. Sometimes yes, but sometimes no. There are other ways that you can forgive a person without going back into their space and into their, you know, energy field, especially if you know that it's not a positive thing for you, if it's going to be a negative thing for you. There's other ways to do it. You can write a letter, you know, um, talk it through. All right. Through some um, ancestral work, possibly some uh, some kind of spiritual work. All right. Without actually having to confront the person, if you're not able to do that, that does not mean or if you can't do it. OK, maybe there's space. OK, maybe they live all the way on the other side of the country. Maybe they're dead. All right. Still possible. All right. All right. 
we are going to get into this reading. I'm be doing your reading from the Dust to Onyx Tarot deck, Gemini Love, October 2022. Now, when I do love readings, okay, my love readings are not always about romance, okay, whatever comes up. Sometimes it has to do with love of self, maybe love of career, love of your child, love of just love, period. It's not always about romance, all right? Keep that in mind, especially with what we just went through, okay, in terms of your reading here from the Romance Angel Oracle deck, Gemini. But I don't know <laughs> until, until I put the cards out and start the reading, all right? Gemini, love, October 2022, okay? And I'm feeling like, Gemini, one more shuffle. Ah. These cards are heavy and they're falling everywhere, all right, Gemini? One more. Gemini Love. October 2022. All right. That's enough. All right. All right, Gemini. Let's get into it. Here we have Eight of Blades, Dormant, Mama Staff, Awakened, Ace of Coins, Dormant, Ten of Gourds, Awakened, Ace of Staffs, Awakened, Gemini. Mm. I do feel like you need to free yourself, for sure. Okay. Men some kind of mental bondage here. And pos maybe possibly you are doing that. It's like I'm hearing like I'm working on myself. Maybe you're seeing a therapist. Or maybe you need to be seeing one. Okay, to help you through this, I mean like through this journey. I feel like this that sometimes when I pull like these romance angel oracle cards and then I do the reading with the um the tarot cards, they don't match. Okay. I do feel like this is a match right here. All right. I feel that you are suffering financially. Okay. Some about this card here. Hold on, please, Gemini. You need to let something go. It's like, I feel like it has too much power and control over your life. And possibly that maybe that's what you're working on, okay? Maybe it does have something to do, you know, with forgiveness or forgiving uh, your parents or a parent. But I am here and there are two. There are two that you need to reach out to. Okay, and forgive. And even, even though I said reach out, I mean, I still mean it in the same way that I said it earlier. Your parents possibly could be deceased, but you can still reach out to them. Okay, and either I'm here and ask for forgiveness or uh, forgive them. Okay, in the way that you need to. You might be trying, you know, you might be trying to act like everything is okay. Okay. But something but but something is is something that came in and busted that all wide open. <laughs> okay. You're not you're not doing well. Okay. I, I'm damn sure hearing you're not doing well in in regards to your finances. Okay. Hold on. All right. All right. Let, let's continue on, Gemini. Three of Blades, Dormant. Five of Coins, Dormant. Two of Staffs, Dormant. Five of Blades, Dormant. I 
feel like, um, like I said, I feel like you may be lying to yourself about something, pretending like everything is all right, but again, something has come in to, dis to disrupt that, okay? It's like to make you face yourself, okay? Or to make you face the situation, okay? To stop pretending like, you know, you're not hurt, you're not broken, okay? Like to, you know, like nothing bothers you or, no, or this thing here is not bothering you because, um, I don't know. I'm just hearing something like about you moving into a dangerous direction. She saw this pretend, this pretend, this thing here is in the back of your, you know, your mind. Okay, maybe um, maybe you buried it, maybe you're subconscious, but it is there, okay? It is a part of you, it's a part of your, you know, your makeup, your foundation here, okay, of, of your being here in, in the world, okay? And, you know, like you're pretending, trying to pretend like everything is okay, everything's fine, like I'm doing well, you know, um, like I'm, you know, perfectly balanced, um, like this thing didn't bother me, you know, like I'm just like everyone else in the world. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. Like there's nothing wrong with me. Truth tell it, there's a little something wrong with everybody in the world. You know, we all got stuff. Okay. That's what we would call it in seminary. In one of my classes where we had to delve into this type of thing, stuff, your stuff. Okay. Or baggage, they used to call it. All right. And you're really not, um, or you haven't been. I don't know about now, but this is how you have handled this situation, right? And and not doing anything about it, okay? Lying, okay? You know, trying to, I feel like, live a complete life or something like that when there was no completion here. You didn't deal with this, okay? I don't know if you are now, but you should. Okay, let's continue on. The sun, dormant, nine of blades, awakened, seven of gourds, awakened. <laughs> My daughter back there cooking, pans, clang, clang. All right. Very, very dark, okay, uh, space within you. All right. Um, hmm. this is something that I feel like whatever happened, whatever this is, whatever you need to, whoever you need to forgive, okay, or maybe who you need forgiveness from, but I feel like you need to forgive someone, okay, if it is possibly parents, loved ones, I'm hearing, okay, um, whatever happened it's just like it you trying to you know you have walked through this path trying to pretend like everything's all together like i'm all together you know uh i'm fine okay and those may not even be words that you ever said to anyone they may not have even been words that you said to yourself this is just the life that you live the way that you live your life all right see but things catch up with us okay um This situation is terrible here. Uh, she's like, it tore you asunder. All right, it tore you apart. There was, some there was some mistreatment here, maybe of you. Serious mistreatment. They didn't do you well. They didn't treat you right. Like they dogged you. Might have even been some abuse. Maybe some uh, sexual abuse, okay? Possibly. A lot of pain and suffering here that you endured at the hands, okay, of, I mean, of this group. Maybe it was a family. <clears throat> Maybe not just parents, okay? But I did hear something about there too, okay? 
But I do think that there were others possibly here that played a role. Might have been family. And, and you may not have been the only person that suffered this, uh, this abuse here. Maybe you had siblings, possibly, okay, who went through the same thing. But I just kind of feel like it's like you were treated like you weren't important. It's like you just was just another one. You know, maybe, maybe I don't know if you came from a large family or whatever, but just, just another kid. Okay, you're not important here. And if it wasn't done maliciously, right? If there was just, I don't know, I don't know if you possibly came from a large family. It may not have that, not other stuff that is malicious, okay? But what I was saying, like, um, in terms of, uh, just another kid, that type of thing. You're just, you're just another person, just another child that you know that's here that I done brought into that we didn't brought here. Okay, just uh, if if it was just a possibility of maybe there was um, just a lot of children there. Okay, so it was hard to focus, you know, on um, or special treatment. Okay, or that kind of individualized treatment. You just treated like just another one. Okay, you see, like a number, okay? And you might, that might, that you might be remembering that. Okay, it's disturbing here. All right, let's continue on. Gemini. Four Blades. Awakened. Mama Gord. Awakened. The Shaman. Dormant. Mm. I feel like you're in a place in your life where you these these memories, okay, these things that you buried that maybe you didn't think bothered you or you didn't think were an issue or you didn't think were a problem, you didn't think affected you in any kind of way. These things are coming, they're, they're surfacing now. All right. And I feel like you might be dealing with a lot of sadness. Okay. These memories, looking at these things. Okay. Maybe a lot of tears. Hmm. And it may be causing you to look at your whole life. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe you're possibly asking yourself questions. Like, if I had dealt with it then, would my life have been like this? Okay, if I hadn't lived in this space of pretend like everything was okay and just dealt with it, maybe you were not able to deal with it. Okay, for whatever reasons, it depends on what community you came out of. So you wouldn't in any time period. Okay, all the therapy and all of that type of thing they have now. There was a time where they didn't have that for everybody or for every community. There was a time where communities uh, 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 out there did not. Uh, they didn't have access to it and possibly when they did have access to it it was not looked at favorably in a favorable light okay and maybe the best way to deal with it and the only way to deal with it during that time period okay um, was to do what you did okay everything's fine I'm fine Okay. and keep on living life and these things then were perpetuated okay in uh you know in our homes okay because there was uh th there was no other way for us to deal with it this is how we dealt with it okay by not dealing with it okay by not telling the truth of it and allowing the stuff to resurface in our children in our homes Okay, over and over and over again, perpetuating, you know, this terrible cycle, you know, of abuse or whatever the case may be that is problematic, ignoring things as though everything is fine. Okay, um, or possibly even um, hold on, let me see to be sure. Hmm. 
I feel like there's some kind of religious or spiritual component here, obviously. Uh, it's just like not dealt with appropriately. So I feel like if there was a, sometimes people, uh, various communities would deal, uh, deal with these types of things through their religion, possibly, or their spirituality, whatever that might have been. Okay. Uh, and if the religion or the uh, followers of the religion did not allow, I feel, for, um, sometimes it just really ain't dealt, wasn't dealt with. Okay. Pray about it. Okay, but shit, hell, you can't even pray about something you don't admit. <laughs> you understand? What I'm Maybe prayer would work. Okay, if folks knew how to pray. Okay, sometimes people don't know how to pray. Okay, um, and depend on you know how these things were done in various communities. Okay, but again, it, it, it's not so much that the prayer in itself doesn't would not work. Okay, but if you're not admitting you know, uh, various situations, admitting what's going on, be real, being realistic about it, facing, looking at the challenge or what they call doing your shadow work or what we used to just call looking at yourself and admitting the shit that went on and that was done to you, then hell, what you praying for? What you praying about? And yeah, hell yeah, it ain't going to work because you're not even addressing it even in the prayer. Not addressing the issue. You're still pretending. And that is one thing spiritual work will not allow for you to do. Pretend. Not, not, I said spiritual work in terms of the outcome of the spiritual work. It will not allow for pretend. And let's act like everything is okay. If there, those things are in direct contradiction to one another. Spiritual work don't allow for that. You can, you can pretend all you want and play till the cows come home. And I'm doing my spiritual work. And not addressing yourself and your issues. It ain't going to work. Okay, from the psychic tarot for the heart, here we have control. Let's see what control, the book says about control. <laughs> All right, page 45. Control, keywords, master, influence, accept, compassion, patience, and confidence. In order to flourish, relationships must be fluid and free rather than overly rigid and controlled by emotional neediness or insecurity. It's important to master your emotions. See, you cannot master something that you are in denial of. How? Master it in what way? You're denying it. You're acting and pretending as though it doesn't exist. You can't master that. Okay. Uh, it's important to master emotions so that they do not rule the relationship. Now, this is about relationship, maybe for you, Gemini, maybe a parental thing or whatever, but also self. A partnership based solely on emotion is out of balance and out of control. Self-control is the key here. Act from a combination of emotion and intellect and your relationship will thrive and grow. Be sure emotion and intellect, a balance. Okay, but you can't balance nothing if you are in a, in a space of denial of it. Okay, and see, you can be in a space of denial for for forever. The shit is going to come back, and that's just where I feel like you are. These things are coming to the surface now. Okay, of your life. Be sure that your influence is gentle and loving. That this is not the time for domination. The card asks you to accept another person's uniqueness and to not require that person to conform to a mold of your choosing just to make you feel more comfortable. This card also serves as a reminder to come from compassion and understanding rather than anger or fr frustration. Be kind and compassionate and understanding of yourself, Gemini, as well as these others who you may need to uh, ask, uh, who you may need to forgive, excuse me. Now is the time for patience, steadiness, and clear thinking. Apply these qualities to your relationship with others and with yourself. 
If you're involved with a difficult person or situation, try to look through the other person's eyes and experience what his or her heart and soul feels. Try to see the situation from another's perspective. Try to see. Okay. That's difficult. That can be a challenge. If this, some of this is true, okay, of the abuse and I'm here even neglect even, okay, this might have been something that they went through, that this is a parental thing that their parents went through, okay? And again, a time of therapy. What? Okay. I'm 50 years old. That wasn't no thing back in my earlier adult, you know, years, adulthood years. Damn sure not when I was a child. Okay. I work in the schools. They got more, you know, support for these young people, okay, in this regard, in the schools, as well as outside of school. It wasn't anything like that. So you know the time before that and the time before that, especially, and see, it wasn't no uh, vast majority of people, okay, were not very well off, um, you know, financially to be able to uh, have these things, okay, uh, to be able to take advantage of these types of things. Okay, and I'm sure there was even a time where, where it was for even those who did have the money, they still folks wasn't big on that. Okay, so your time period, think about your parents' time period, especially depending on the group and the community and the whole spiritual component here that I feel may have been used, but used not used to its full capacity. Okay, again, if you don't talk about... Um, you know, the issues, the true issues, what really happened, what really goes on in the home and this, that, and the other hell. And then the prayer for what? Okay. You know, it's more than just about a house and a car and a job. Okay. And the good Lord done gave me things. All right, let's continue on. All right. Uh, with self-control comes confidence. Allow a situation to unfold and detach yourself from the outcome. Don't try to control it. The end result of self-control and confidence is supreme peace. Take some time to examine how control in its many aspects is affecting your relationships. Affirmation. I control my emotions and embrace peace. Traditional tarot archetype strength. Okay, maybe you need some strength here. Okay to deal with what's happening with you at this time, Gemini, and truly deal with it, okay? And be courageous. Sometimes, you know, I, uh, I, I have to tell myself, be courageous, okay? I'm looking at something or dealing with something and I'm feeling shaking. Stop. Grow up. Be courageous, you know? Go do what I got to do, Okay? All right, not always easy, but most definitely doable. All right. I certainly hope that resonated with some uh, Gemini. I ask that you all like, share, and subscribe to those who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you. If you haven't, but you're watching my videos, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Thumbs up. Comment. Come over. See what's happening here. And let's get into it. You all be blessed. Peace.